So from the homework, I wanted to talk about a couple of these questions. So we'll start off with cos theta, sine theta, cot theta plus tan theta. We're going to try and simplify that one. What did we say was one of the tips that we should do? Uh, yeah, I mean more the tips about how to simplify these things. Zahir? Uh, we're not going to turn cot into... Or could we turn cot into tan? We could do. I think I probably the tip that we'd said before is to do cot as cos over sine. This isn't always the only way of doing it. It's just the way that I've got things. And then tan theta, we often want to change it into sine theta over cos theta. So that was using the first tip, getting everything in terms of sine theta and cos theta. What did the second tip say, Sam? Um, yeah. Anyone remember what the second tip was? Make the, fractions into one. make the fractions into one thing. Okay, And when you make the fractions into one thing, we saw that there was that, uh, that algebraic fractions pattern where to get the denominator, we multiplied by sign, we multiplied these. The numerator was these and these multiplied and added. So you get cos squared theta plus sine squared theta on the top. So we still have the cos theta sine theta from before. And the denominator is sine theta cos theta. Whoops. What happens here? The cos theta in this bit and down here cancel. The sine theta here and here cancels. And what is cos squared theta plus sine squared theta? It's just one. So the answer to, uh, to cos theta sine theta brackets cot theta plus tan theta, no matter what value of theta that you substituted in, you would always get the answer one just because of the relationship between all of those things that we've got there. And a couple of other people asked about f as well. Now, f says, doesn't have to be theta, sec a minus sec a sine squared a. What was the tip that someone else said about? How do you remember what sec is related to? Third letter. Third letter. So this is going to be 1 over cos a minus sec a is 1 over cos a. So I'm going to just do over cos a. I don't need to put the 1 there. And on the top, I've got sine squared a. Now, with these fractions, because they have the same denominator, I don't need to do any of this fancy algebraic fractions work because they already have the same denominator. So I can just write cos a here. And on the top, I have 1 subtract sine squared a. What is 1 minus sine squared? Cos squared. Cos squared. If you don't know that, you need to memorize that. I'm going to give you a printout very soon of all the things you need to memorize. But it comes from sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So this numerator is cos squared a divided by cos a, which simplifies to cos a. OK, it's like x squared over x is x, so cos squared a over cos a is cos a. So what I'm going to ask you to do immediately before us doing any, um, any new learning is I'm going to ask you to go to the whiteboards, and I want you to go and work through question four. So these were just simplifying ones. Um, so the question four are these proving kinds of questions, and generally, you always want to work from the messier side to the slightly cleaner side of the equation. So for this first one, you're going to want to work on the left-hand side and make it look like the right-hand side. Okay? So we're going to do that just for the first part of today's lesson.